Hey y'all, this is Jay Maria, Jay Marie Booklist, and today I'm coming to talk to you about what to do during downtime as a health unit coordinator. So, you know, working in the hospital, there will be times where there will be downtimes. Um, I know here down in South Florida, it's um, summertime and, you know, the snowbirds are all back home up north. And we won't really get them until November, December, January, February, March. That's when they're here and that's when it's real busy. So now that it's the summertime, it's sl much slower at the hospital. So, you know, these are just a few tips that I have for you to keep yourself busy when there's slow time or downtime at work. So one of the things you can do is you can just clean your area, clean the nurse station real good. You know, move everything out the way move you know just move stuff to the side and really clean and sanitize um, you will be surprised on how much dust has built up behind things I know every now and then I'll go and I'll clean behind the fax machine and um, it's just a lot of dust and, and then the whole puncher you know there's little little punch holes of paper just laying around so you know just the dust alone that that you know appears behind things it's just amazing so what i'll do is i'll just go through and just give it a good clean another thing that i do is i'll go in the pantry and straighten up the pantry when i first got over to the icu unit from where i came from because the unit i came from we really didn't even we didn't order anything for the pantry. It was the charge nurse. We, we had really, the Hux had nothing to do with the pantry. But where I am now, we are responsible for the pantry. So I, you know, me and someone else, we order the supplies, the milk, the applesauce, the juice, things like that. We are responsible for that. And when I first went over there, it was like a cyclone hit. It was no organization, nothing. So I went and I organized everything, you know, the juices go in this cabinet, the straws go over here, the tea goes over here, you know, you know, things go in the refrigerator, but like, you know, you don't put everything in the refrigerator. Some things you keep under the cabinet, uh, under the counters. I organized all that. And three years later, it's still the same. Um, so, it, you know, that's another thing you can do. I know on another floor, I, I went and I organized it because it was actually they actually have three pantries and um that's a big floor and i organized that that i organized those pantries it hasn't stayed um consistently clean but it's much better than it was so i will give them that um another thing you could do is clean the break room you know there are times where i'll go in the break room close the door pull out some bleach and just bleach everything down. I get behind the microwave. I, I you know, go through cabinets. I, I'm surprised at all of the the coffee, you know, old coffee machines and blenders and stuff they ain't supposed to have that they have in the in the cabinets. So, um, you know, I'll go through and I'll throw stuff out and, and I'll just give it a nice, nice clean. I'll clean out the refrigerator, just... If it's one of those days and, you know, and I have time and I could do that, that's what I do. Um, another thing is I clean the drawers. I'll go through the drawers where we keep the forms and throw out outdated forms. You know, there we have a lot of forms that are totally outdated from 20, you know, 2009 that we no longer use or that the forms are in the computer. So we don't need to use them anymore because they automatically print out. So, you know, I'll go through, organize the drawers. Uh, we have, um, not only do we have a drawer for the forms that we use, you know, enough, then we also have a separate drawer for all the downtime forms. So when the computers go down, we go over to this drawer and get all, and use those forms and put them on a chart. So, you know, that's another thing you can do. Um, one of the things that I like to do is I read up on hospital policy. I know a lot because I read. Okay, I, I I know what the rules are in the hospital because I read. I know what the rules are in departments I don't even work in because I read. Um, I, I'm not one of those who, you know, if things go sideways, I don't know my rights. I'm I'm afraid. I I know what the policy policies are for administration for clinical. I 
I, I read. I know what's going on. You know, they all give us, when we start a job, they give us a policy, a uh, handbook that we're supposed to read, and most people don't read them. I, I read mine when I got mine, and I probably, probably still have it somewhere in the box. And um, I also, because they have it on the computer, on our local intranet, the hospital intranet, and I read that too. So, you know, I know what is expected, what is not expected. Um, another thing that I do is I'll go through the patient's charts. So, I mean, it's, it, it's something I do every day at the beginning of the shift anyway. Um, I work in ICU, so we don't have that many patients. But it's something that I do anyway because, you know, it, we could have got a patient overnight, may not have any labels, may not have face sheets, or, you know, it's just, it all depends. They may have transferred from another floor, and, you know, they may have... Uh, patient so like if the patient that transfer is John Doe but you know I'm going through the chart and I see that there are uh, you know lab results for Sally Sue well you know Sally Sue doesn't belong in that chart her information doesn't belong in that chart so I'll go ahead and straight, straighten up the chart you know and then take that back over there to Sally Sue you know back over to the unit wherever they came from and give it to them so they can put in the correct chart so you know go through the patient's charts you know, check, make sure they got enough face sheets, uh, labels, and, and make sure that all the paperwork in there belongs to that patient. And, um, you know, I also, you know, clean out drawers. There are a lot of drawers that need to be cleaned out. You know, while you're going through the drawers, um, throwing away paperwork, you know, old forms that are no longer needed, clean out the drawers, straighten up the drawers. There are so many drawers and cabinets and and counters that need to be clean you would be surprised how many you know people magazines are in drawers you know so it's just one of those things so there are a lot of ways that you can stay busy during downtime as a health unit coordinator you notice nowhere in there that I mention sitting on your phone or watching videos or you know words with friends I mentioned things that will keep you busy and keep you employed so um if you have any questions or comments you can put them below you can also come to my blog it's jmariebooklist.com that's where i talk about being a health unit coordinator the good the bad the ugly but mainly the good and uh don't forget to subscribe to the channel thank you